All right, ladies and gentlemen, I got your watches coming in on November 25th, 2019, and I hope you had a good weekend and are ready for this short Thanksgiving week we got ahead. Given the situation with this short week and kind of what we saw from last week, earnings out the way and where we're coming into for the end of the year, I got three more stocks this week I'm going to be looking at. Got some broad potential plays with them that we're going to talk about. We'll talk about some of the stuff we're holding from last week, but I want to focus on these three companies as well as how to handle this week properly. So we'll go over those plays. I got your keys for tomorrow and that's pretty much gonna be it so make sure you guys like the video make sure you're subscribed and if you don't know we are live monday through friday 30 minutes before open it's the first link in the description and it's pinned in the comments we're going to be trading live so you better be there if you did not see this weekend i posted that strategy playing the morning so at least be there in the morning but come contribute information and on that note too do not forget the most important thing post your watch list below let us know what you're looking at any plays any things from last week just post it there source the info be positive respectful that is all we ask so let us get into it right off the bat here are the keys but before we say anything thanksgiving is on thursday if you guys did not know that so the market is going to be closed and then it closes a few hours early for black friday so keep that in mind Keep that in mind with some of these contracts and moving forward. And like I brought up in the beginning, that is going to have an effect on how the markets play out because you aren't really going to be having people placing big positions and selling out, you know, around this time in the holidays. They'll probably push it back to next week. But now this even relates to what I want to look for tomorrow. It's going to be the news. Don't forget all of that tension we saw from last week. But I think we could be kept at bay here because of the short week. But if any of that negative news with China and the whole phase one deal getting pushed back, you still have impeachment news. There's a lot of different things there. So keep your eyes out for that. But now keep in mind the short week when making your plays. It's going to be an opportunity to sell premium because the time is already going to be working in your favor. And it will, you will see cheap contracts, so you can buy them and make money, but be very, very cautious, and especially cautious of the weeklies now. So whenever you're, you're making a play tomorrow, understand that it's going to be a different type of shot clock you've been playing with. So watch out for that. And then lastly now, watch out for divergent. Call out any laggers and leaders, man. Source that information. But we are going to start seeing divergence. We are seeing it in some areas. It's not too big. But if we're going to see all of these signals and Hindenburgs and push and pull, anything, if we're going to watch any of that stuff come to life here, or if we're going to be able to see, you know, how the market absorbs this coming into the end of the year now, if we are going to get that Santa Claus rally, or if this is where kind of, things start cracking again, kind of like we saw last holiday season, the divergence is going to be key. So again, if you, and to give it some even context, pay attention to TLT. We have that play. We've been holding it, but stocks are still up for the most part, but now TLT is reversing. I brought up the bonds a few times. Someone remind me that we'll talk about that on stream, but that is a divergence in and of itself. So if you see anything happening, call it out, baby. But that's pretty much it. So let us get into the plays. As far as the three stocks to watch tomorrow, the first one is going to be Kazia Therapeutics. So this was that KZIA. Remember, this is the 100-day chart on here. So remember, it had that pop. We got in. I'm holding 100 shares. Then it was halted for two days because they had this cancer data being reported. Well, it looks like that data came out very, very positive. But now here's a counter thing. I saw this on YouTube when I was looking up, and I was like, it's, it's the CEO. And they're an Australian company, but it's a CEO in front of this like show, just like literally blatantly in front of a, a, a green screen. And it just looks kind of sketchy. And that's like ske <laughs> sometimes sketchy petty stock behavior. But I'm going to keep an eye out for it. it. had like, I guess, like 70% of uh, patients showed that they had better results than the current brain cancer treatment. So again, there was like KRTX last week. And that was a cancer drug. And that one had a crazy huge rip and it stayed up. So I'm going to be swinging this. I'll be holding it. it really, what's going to happen is going to depend on what happens in the morning. And this will definitely be one to put on that 10-minute window. So if you guys didn't watch that video over this weekend, take a look. This is going to be shared. So we'll have to see. But I, I know we're going to be watching this pre-market if and only if it, if it does come unhalted. But that's the first play to watch. And now the second play I'm going to watch. And I'll show you guys some options here. But Tesla. This may seem like an obvious one or not an obvious one. I don't usually play this. I'm not a big fan of it. This is going to have two different types of plays. It's one going to be if there's a big move in either direction. If this is going to be kind of, you know, it was having a good uptrend. It sells off. And this is just day one. You let that market do the price discovery. You're going to get big moves with it. So this is going to be one where you could buy options and hope for a big move. Or on the other hand now, short week sell premium. Tesla's premium is going to be through the roof because of all the events I've named. 
people are going to be expecting a lot of back and forth. You have a short week. You have a high volatility stock. There's a lot of factors pushing in your favor for selling premium. So I might do a mix of both of these and, and see what we could do. A butterfly could be good, but I'm definitely going to be watching Tesla this week. They're going to be the second one. I think that's going to be going crazy. And then Home Depot. This is what I've been relating it to was McDonald's. So that's Home Depot, but here is McDonald's. McDonald's had kind of that first four days or four to four or five days, really on the fifth day, it really started to capitulate, hung out, bounced a little, and then came lower. I think we could see something with Home Depot. The difference is McDonald's really came back down to its 100-day low, whereas Home Depot's not. So I think Home Depot might sell off a little bit more. It's his big volume. They were up a lot. They were, they've been an industry leader for some time now. Over the last few months, they're there. I would be looking on the downside for them. So And even a quick bounce play too. But again, short week, if there is a, a one big move in one direction tomorrow, following up with selling premium for the rest of the week could be a good one. But this is the potential play I'll be looking at Home Depot. Because I'm kind of nervous for the next week, you could probably get way, way closer if you're playing next week, like substantially closer. But if I'm playing for something to, to look like a McDonald's massacre on Home Depot, I'm going to be looking at these 207s. They're a quarter. You can't even go for the two tens for 50 cents. But 207 is, you can see, this is a level they've had support at the lows. They've broken down. But this is assuming we're going to see something similar like, like McDonald's. So that's why I'm aiming here. I think 207 is reasonable. There's a price support level there. But then also, it's only 28 cents for the premium. So I'm going to be watching that. Someone bring those up in the morning. That's the only specific play I'm going to be looking at. As far as the Teslas, that one is going to be one beyond stream. Or at least get your stream alerts, baby. Shout out to stream alerts. Better to have an idea than need to not have it. But I need to see how Tesla trades in the morning. I want to see what the prices are. So I could get an idea of what's going on and even the sentiment towards it. And then KZIA only shares were already in that. So that is how we're going to be doing it. Again, even this HD, this is a potential play. This is something I'm not even in. Something that came to my mind over the week when I was coming up with this. So I'm going to be looking at that contract, but it is going to be subject to to change in pricing and to, you know, don't forget option trading extremely risky. You can't lose all most financial investment. Please consult with financial advisors and educational purpose only. But yeah, those are three stocks that are going to go crazy. So as far as the rest of the list now, I'm going to be watching those and I even have honorary mentions I would want to put up and those go to Roku, NVIDIA and Disney. Do not forget about continuations this week. I think that is going to be very important. And if anything is going to slip by us, if we're going to get, you know, if we don't see the typical behavior we see in a short week, you will see some of these continuations. So keep your eye out for it. But again, Roku at this key level, you can see it's kind of had a lot of tension there. So they might be the only one I'd, I'd be watching even a straddle both ways. This one will be key on watching what, what it's pricing at. And again, watch that first 10 minute window in the morning, that eight bar play, baby. I'm trying to keep it simple for y'all. I know y'all like that. But watch them. Watch McDonald's again, like I brought up too, because if they do end up making a move from here, that's going to be important. Then there is, again, Disney. Disney's on the upside. It ended up doing good. We sold out of the ghetto spread. Remember, we ended up closing that. So we don't have any more plays. I might want to see if they're on the downside or, again, depending on the strength there. But watch Disney for sure. And then NVIDIA, that play, I don't know if you guys remember, I closed it out for 400 But the Iron Condor, that $100 into 1000 you or 1200 you would have got 100% of the profit by Friday. So I cut out too early. But NVIDIA is at a good spot. I'd even watch any of the other chip makers. But keep your eye on them. Then Apple. I want to watch Apple because if anything is going to diverge further, it is going to be Apple. And you could kind of see it a little bit here with the SPY. You see where the SPY's kind of leveled out a little bit, but Apple's kind of coming down. So if there is anything that I will be watching, it is going to be watching what Apple does as far as, you know, getting a broader market sentiment with everything else. So watch Apple, then watch Amazon as well, too. I made that bigger crazy play, but... I'm still waiting for the divergence. The market kind of, if it bounces from here, you might see them take a little mini bounce or if the market does start going up. Amazon could be a leader, but I still think either way, both sides, they're going to go crazy on there. And then watch Boeing. Boeing's kind of all over the place this week, even, but on Friday ended up closing good. I believe they did a settlement uh, with a few of the families. So watch how that plays out. But again, we've seen what happened with Boeing and the contract may be cheaper on the weeklies, but be careful of the weeklies, but see what you could do with Boeing. Then Snapchat. We have this in the long-term portfolio and people have been asking me too, what if I'm going to add anything to our long-term portfolio. I'm waiting a little bit. I'm seeing here, even then we're going to add more cash to it uh, very shortly here. But watch out for Snap. See what's going on with them. They were, they're at, they're at a pretty crucial point, but they were getting some strength there. Just surprisingly, even I know Twitter even started to bounce back. And then now AMD, they've been at the high point. I think our swing trade is still in place with them that we made for free. So we're going to be watching this. We got a, we got a free ghetto 
spread on them. So again, we have till next week. But I like AMD again and watch all the other chip makers at the same time with them. And then Expedia. Expedia started to bounce up here. You could tell by the speed here, it's either going to really slow down and cuck for over the next few weeks. But if it does start bouncing up, I think it has, you know, five, ten bucks in it. So I want to see the prices of those contracts. But watch Expedia and watch the continuation. Then lastly, don't forget about healthcare, UNH. That's going to be one I want to watch. And then the rest are going to be continuations, both small and big companies. So anything that has reported, do not forget about it and call them out, baby. Don't be too shy. But watch Smuckers. They did pretty good again last week. It was off the gap up. They stayed up. So watch for them to continue now. And again, watch those mornings. Then watch Nordstrom's. They did good. I didn't play them. I usually don't like playing them, but they had a big day on Friday. If that big day continues and they keep doing more continuation moves, that's going to be good. And then SPLK, Spelunk. But the same theme is common with all these. So hopefully you guys are calling them out. I'm sure I'm forgetting a few of these, but I know these continuations are going to be key, especially with this short week. So hopefully you guys are ready, but that is your watch list. So stay prepared, stay hydrated, healthy, ready to go. Make sure you are prepared. Make sure you take it slow. Keep your eyes there. Don't force anything. We got this slow week. I mean, if you guys are going to be hanging out, come on stream. Y'all got holidays. You can eat turkey and watch markets or Black Friday. I, I, I don't know, man. I'm just thankful. I'm thankful for all of you guys. I'm blessed. Let's have a great week. I think it's going to be an exciting one. Regardless, I think it's exciting every week, you know what I'm but let's close out this week strong, baby. And, you know, just off anything from last week, let's bring it in here. Let's try to get an eight-week streak continuing, baby. And let's make some moves. Let's go. <laughs>